Hi everyone, 365 Ninja here. I'm going to give you a quick overview in this video of the integration between Insightly and Office 365. I prefer to use the Insightly CRM with my Outlook 2013 client that's tied into my overall Office 365 subscription. So once I've added the Insightly app to my account, I have a conversation here that I'd like to save. I'd like to save the email conversation as well as the contact details. So all I have to do is click Insightly here in the gray bar kind of underneath the header of my email and I get this middle pane that pops up. Now I can choose to save the contact by clicking this box. I've also found that if I click save email, my contact will automatically be saved as well. So I'll click save email. You can see that it's saved to Insightly, it gives me a confirmation, and now I can click view in Insightly to go directly to my browser. I have my browser already up and signed into Insightly, so I'll click here and I actually, let me just give this a quick refresh. So now you can see that my contact Aaron was just added to my contact list here in Insightly. I can drill down and I don't have a whole lot of contact details yet for this contact, but I can edit those details by clicking edit and adding any additional information that I have on this contact. If I go back to his listing here, when I click emails, this is what's really valuable to me. I can essentially keep a record of all of my email communication with this person saved in the same place as all of the contact details and any of the other tasks and events and project tracking that I do in Insightly. It's all in one spot. And if I want to add any of those, what I was mentioning earlier, tasks, events, and things associated with this contact, I can take actions directly from his listing. So I started in Outlook. I essentially, I'm still gonna be doing all of my email communication in Outlook, but I can keep all of those details here in the CRM with just a really easy click integration. So I hope that tip helped if you're using Insightly and Office 365, or maybe piqued your interest if you're not using Insightly yet. If you have any questions or you're interested in any more Office 365 tips and tricks, please check back with 365ninja.com. Thanks.